Hey, and welcome to Tesla Northwest and EVs. I am at the Quilceda Outlet Mall, and it just happens that they've got EVgo uh, with all kinds of different adapters and ends on them. So I thought I'd talk about the two main type of Tesla charging adapters you wanna have so it's a golden ticket to charge anywhere across this beautiful country at any EV station. So join me while I talk real briefly about the differences in adapters and how you wanna use them. All right, folks, so the first one I wanna talk about, this is what's known as level two alternating current or AC charging. And you need this adapter, it comes free with every Tesla you purchase, and it allows you to use this standard, which is known as J1772. It's the level two charging standard. You simply slip the adapter on, and now I can plug in and use this to charge my Tesla. So level two charging, this adapter is the free adapter that comes with every Tesla that you purchase. And you absolutely wanna have it to use for level two, but it doesn't work on DC fast charging. So go, let's go look at that next. All right, so the next type of charging we're gonna talk about, this is what's known as DC fast charging or direct current fast charging. And there's a lot of different ends. Uh, this end here is what's known as a Chatamo. This is an old standard. It's 50, uh, 50 amp max uh, and I believe 50 kilowatt max and Nissan Leafs and other older EVs use it. You can get an adapter for your Tesla to plug into this end and go into your car but it's incredibly expensive. It's uh, over $1,000 last time I looked. So most people don't buy those because they take forever and I wouldn't recommend it, but I'll show you one in the corner up here. So this is Chatamo. Oh, sorry folks. The one we really wanna concern ourselves with is what's known as CCS1. This is our charging standard for all other EVs besides Tesla. And so if you purchase this adapter from Tesla's website, which is $175, and you need to drive a 2021 or newer Tesla car. You gotta check the app to make sure it's compatible. But you can get this uh, adapter for 175. This bad boy simply plugs into the end of the CCS like this, and now I can plug it into my car and I can charge my car in any DC fast charger in the United States. So very, very cool. And uh, highly recommend that you purchase yourself one because again, they're only 175 and it lets you go anywhere you want. And then finally, folks, one real cool thing about EVgo, they have a Tesla plug-in on them. So you can use these EVgo stations on your Tesla. The problem is this is gonna be capped at 50 kilowatts because it's simply using a Chatamo adapter that I just talked about. They just use a Chatamo adapter and then come out to a Tesla cable. So your best bet again, Pick up this guy for 175 bucks if you drive a newer Tesla. Check your app to make sure it's CCS1 compatible. And this adapter is the one that comes free with the car and it only works on level two J1772 AC chargers. So there you have it. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. I just enjoyed your time and I'll catch you on the flip side here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. All right, folks, and just a little EV candy. I don't know how many of you saw this Rivian in the background, but we've got a Rivian here. Nice looking Model 3. There's a Model X back there in the uh, background. We've got a compliance car here getting ready to charge. And then another Tesla Model 3. And of course, Amos. So a uh, number of great EVs here at the parking garage at the Quill Seat Outlet Mall. And just thanks for joining me. I hope this helped and you learned something. Have a wonderful day.